Hi, this is Ollie from Apple Advisor. Today we're going to be talking about the last Apple special event in October the 22nd. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a recap of pretty much the whole event. First, Tim Cook first gave a, um, a look at the, a recap on the 5C and the 5S. And then he showed us some of the reviews which were outstanding. Then he went on to say that 64% of all iOS devices running iOS 7. That's a huge number. And then he also went on to talk about iTunes Radio, which unfortunately is not something I can use because I'm not in America. And Craig Ferdinini is on stage to talk about all the new stuff. He talks about Mavericks and how good Mavericks is and how that it's really coming out really soon and it's free to download. So not like the other one which you had to pay, I think it was £15 for. This one is going to be absolutely free to download from today. Tim Cook says that Apple has sold 9 million, 9 million iPhones. That's a substantial amount. It's really ridiculous for any phone sold. Then they go on to demo the Mavericks, the Maps, the notifications, all the Mavericks. And MacBook Pros will be eligible for the free Mavericks update. The Mavericks update will make it faster, will make it a lot more fluid, it will add a lot of more functions and it should be a lot nicer to use. For Phil Scudder is called on stage to talk about the new MacBook Pro of Retina display. It's not good that there's a new MacBook Pro of Retina display because then that means mine's updated. It's going to be thinner, it's going to have an Intel Iris chip, make it 90% faster. It'll have up to 9 hours of battery life, faster Wi-Fi and Thunderbolt 2.0 which isn't being used on any devices but it also is featured on the Mac. And let's talk about the Mac Pro. The Mac Pro is the next generation Xenon processor. It has the fastest memory and the fastest graphics around. It has next generation flash storage, Thunderbolt 2. And it also has support for 4K displays, which will be really good for movie makers and all that sort of things. The back of the Mac Pro illuminates when you move it, so you can see where your connections are. Eddie Q, Apple's senior president of apps comes on stage to talk about their apps iPhoto they've made this a lot better on iPad iOS and also um, Mavericks iMovie has been enhanced by quite a lot on GarageBand you can have up to 32 tracks running simultaneously this is a huge breakthrough compared to the last software the iWork updates are out and this should make a work a lot easier they have a lot more function and make your iWork life easier. It will be 64-bit compatible. It will also have support for Thunder. It will also have support for multi-users editing the same document at the same time. It is a huge breakthrough and this should make Apple that one step higher. So it comes back on stage to talk about iPads. 170 million iPads sold. This is a huge number. Huge, huge number. Apple has the 81% share in tablet users and the number one in customer satisfaction. Then, the new iPad. If you weren't actually following it, you'll find this weird. They called the new iPad, the new full-sized iPad, not the little iPad, the full-sized iPad. They called it the iPad Air. Now, the iPad Air, why? because they wanted to tell it to us that it's thin. It also resembles the same design as the iPad mini. It has a 64-bit chip, also has a impressive same battery life, 10-hour battery life. It has faster Wi-Fi, extend, extended 3G support with different more networks, but it still has that same 5 megapixel camera. We really wanted to see something better Maybe nearly as good as the current iPhone, but oh no, Apple has to let us down again. And they give us the same old boring camera. Which is fine for, I don't know, taking pictures of your cat. But it's not going to make a very good, like, blow up picture or anything like that. Or not. You might make a iPhone background with that. It's an iPad. It's bigger than the iPhone. And you get worse pictures. How's that work? It will be available to buy in November. They'll still keep the current iPad on for a cheaper price. They'll make new iPad covers for around 60 quid and they should be quite cool. I don't know, I'll check them out. Let me put a picture up there. 
Tim Cook came back on stage and said, well, the event's over, and said goodbye, and that's pretty much it. Well, that was short, I had quite a bit of hardware there, I had quite a lot of software, sorry, not that much hardware. We wanted to see more stuff like the iWatch, stuff which people care about, people which people really want, because Apple hasn't actually made that much new. Well, they've changed the design of their iPad, that is pretty much all they've said that will blow us away, and doesn't even blow us away. So I think Apple is going to have to step this game up. Thanks for watching, don't forget to look at my other videos, the last video will be up here somewhere, I keep doing the wrong side, it'll be that side or that side, and if you think I deserve it, pop some money in my donation button which will be down below. Thanks for watching and goodbye.